Well, it's Saturday, September 14th, and it's time to take a look and see where we might go today. Might be some car shows still. A little late in the summer, but we'll see. Well, I'm looking at the uh, Route 26 Cruisers menu, and um, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shows on for Saturday. Question is pick and pick and choose. Um, for sure, the Oregon City that is going to be a really big one. Went to that last year, and that was really good. Um, So, anyway, um, Cruise Picture, Longview, Washington, uh, probably pretty good, but it's a ways up there. Mopar Summit, uh, you remember that last year, it's at a dealership. A eh, little show, not too bad. Um, fun in the Sun rally um, Aloha High School homeless kids um, yeah, maybe um, fall car show Newburgh nope that's too far away and um, And that is in Mount Angel. And went there last year. Not that big. Sort of a nice drive. But um, I don't know. I think we'll pick and choose uh, Oregon City for sure. Well, we made it to Oregon City. A little on the early side, but that's okay. Yeah, this is usually a pretty big event, so let's get going. That's a very clean example of a stock 37 five window coupe. Question is, where are the door handles? Well. A little bit of difference in them. The question is, what is it? Yeah. Well, pretty good turnout for the day. Now that's a real rap rock. Okay. I'm a for 20 bucks. Guess what I'm going to give you about that? It's right out right. of high school. Yeah. Flathead, engine, okay. well, and all. Wow. Like yeah. you know one well, with a Chevy down, engine. Would it be a Nixon manifold? Yeah, look at, at that beauty. Day, I to mention, going to be a special. Mm. When you buy those tickets, mm. and yep. the afternoon, just before we get away. 52, Hudson Hornet. Would that qualify as a rat rod? I don't know. Yeah. Forty Chevy. Convertible. Yeah, it looks like everybody's having a good time, or at least a good breakfast. Very nice example of a Pontiac convertible. What if that was a handle truck or somebody converted it? Yes. Yes. A lot of old ones, a lot of new ones. 
to say the least. Well, that was the same car. So, they found out it was cancer free, did they? Makes it difficult. Classic 35 convertible, or would have been called a cabriolet. Saw this guy at the boring show. And we now know how to tell a 33 from a 34. The 33 has that little curvature of the grill, and the headlights are mounted differently than a 34. Same car. One slick 37 convertible with a really nice interior match. That is nice. Pretty fancy. And across the street, we have the unmarked police car with the fancy lights. Yeah, the ant car, we'll call it that. This is a 49 Chevy. Or a 51. Fast. A month ago, it was pointed out to me uh -huh. the difference in the grill. No difference in the bodies. But I like that 35 coupe. A really rare three window 35. There's a real good example of a completely stock 32 coupe. Very nice. Noisy. Another rat rod with a little roots blower. Here's your little run around town car. And another rat rod. That's my that's my that's my personal uh, parking space now, two years in a row. No tickets? I don't know, I can't. Alright, next stop, Camas, Washington. At a fly in, fly in drive in. Yeah, I made a little stop on the way. Actually, it was uh, probably not a mile out of our way just to stop by Jim Dandy and see what was happening here. Well, the show doesn't start for another 30 minutes, and there's not very many people here, and we're early, but I guess I left those driving lights on. Good thing I have a good battery. Well, it's about a 20 mile drive, but we made it to Grove Field, Camas, Washington. That's a, a low rider of the lowest kind. That really would be a fun car to have, too. A little bit of shine. Unbelievable. So this is a an original Willys, all metal, very rare. Really cute little car, aren't they? Okay. There's there's a Studebaker to 
match all Studebakers. It's a P50. Wow. With a spinner prop. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a Studebaker of, of 50s version. And um, I just made it up to look like an airplane. It's a, a P50. <laughs> Yeah, they're playing the YMCA. And what is a 34 or something? Huh? Well, I'm guessing I'm pretty good today. I don't think so. I'm going to say 37. I always get these mixed up right in there, but I'm going to say 37 on that one. Yeah, well, that... Uh, that looks like a street legal. There's a little kid that knows his cars. Yeah. Yeah. This is hydraulic. What are all the batteries for? Um, for the uh, apparently for the uh, motors. Is it electric or is it? Well. It's plum for hydraulics, but sure as heck does have batteries, that's for sure. An original 37.5 window coupe. 40 Pontiac with impressive carburation. It'll rock. Real pretty. Little 32, and look at that paint. Man, that's a paint job. Seems like we see more and more and more of the 33, 34s. Even starting to pay attention, I don't know. That would be fun to drive. Whoops. That'd be fun to drive. They're almost identical. To it was featured in the Barn Finder magazine. Always wanted this vintage Chevy. I just thought they were so so neat a looking. That that's a 41. 41. Well, for just a little show way up here in uh, Camas, it's a pretty good turnout. And this um, right next to it is this uh, Oldsmobile. We've seen this at numerous car shows. I'm surprised it's way up here, though, instead of being down at uh, Oregon City. Not flying. Not well, at, at, at six dollars a gallon for ab gas, uh, you know, people aren't just putt putting around anymore. Well, a little car show here at Boppin' Bows. Mall shop. Bop and Bows Mall shop. Has all the lines of a 1940 Chevy. Highly modified grill. The question is is that a 39 or a 40? Now you talk about carburation. There's, there's some carburation. All right. Yeah. Nice, nice finish on this. Recognize the song yeah. and maybe who sang it, but today it's going to be this Mr. Amazing DQ. Let's give him a hand for Chevy. Chevy C10. The big engine. That's a 40. Why wouldn't look good? A 35 two-door sedan that's been uh, a little bit customized. Yeah. 37. Uh, that is a rarity and a beauty. Uh, something like a 1931 Chevy 
one ton or whatever. You get the same top on it, the different color, light color, green top. Anyway, uh, yeah, 64. Well, we've been to um, Oregon City and uh, Jim Dandy's uh, drive-in, Grove Field, and now at uh, Bop and Bo's Malt Shop and Grill, and now we're going to head to Longview. That looks seaworthy to me. Well, we're in historic downtown Longview, Washington. That's a, another 37 uh, 5 window. Looks really, except for the wheels, pretty stock. It's a, what, a 38 Buick, huh? Okay. Uh, that's going back to my childhood for sure. Interesting. That's, um, is that really for real? A Hollywood supercharger. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say that's going Hollywood for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely red. Definitely red. Yeah. I think we've got enough horsepower here to yeah. go up the mountain. I think you can go straight up on that. Boring last week. Believe it or not. I'm pretty sure. 40 Buick Coupe. Boy, that was classy in its day. I can see now why I bought it. Look at this customized Ford. Wow. Oh, beautiful, huh? What year? 50? That's my Model A. Oh, okay. Yeah, the problem with these uh, street shows, too many people in the street. Uh huh. It is a 38 Plymouth. In the bag, in the goodie bag that we got all the stuff, the yellow ticket. Well, we're up here in uh, Longview, and here's the little willies. It's always going to be someplace. Yep. What makes this look so different? Huh? Just the color? I don't know if that's been modified or not. I think it has. What's come out the back? Yeah, I, it's been modified. That's not a standard windshield. Yeah. I like that. Chevrolet, like a rock. Well, I don't know. That's, uh, that's a 37 grill. Isn't that pretty? You know, it's not, I don't think they've come into their own. I like that. Don't, don't back up. Beautiful. Rear sedan yet. It's straight. It's color. not tomato. No, it's more like tomato soup with milk mixed in. I wouldn't. Like. I wouldn't. Soup made with milk. I wouldn't say it too loud. Well, party's breaking up. Good looking. A rear view of the same truck. Hello. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there are down there. Okay, what? I'm going to go to my final Yeah, I like the sound of the pipes on that.
win a bucket. Okay. Well, this is where we came in. I guess this is where we'll leave. Well, I already reset the uh, doggone uh, trip meter, but it was 154 miles. And that was from um, Oregon City. Stopped by Jim Dandy Drive In. Went up to Grove Field in Washington. Uh, stopped by um, a subway for lunch. And then went to um, Bop and Bo's uh, uh, little car show in, um, in Vancouver. And then 30 miles up to. Um, Longview, and we had hoped to catch one show on the other side of the river, but uh, we uh, just exceeded the time limit, so the show was over. Yeah, that was a trip.